actually really upset at my friend um, who magically sent me fucking feedback loops uh, from my microphone, you know? I mean, he was just going through it himself and he was like, oh, I can hear the robots. And I was like, yes, I can hear the robots. And then since that moment, legit that fucking day, I get feedback loops in my camera and it's really frustrating. Um, whatever. So. I filmed for nine minutes before and nine minutes for the other night, um, two separate videos that um, I'm gonna have to redo one. Actually, no, it's about the same topic, but the last video I just filmed was really good. So I'm gonna take it from a sign to the universe to slow down. Possibly. All right. So, I wanna talk about my monotonic, monotonic gold consumption. The monotonic gold is definitely taking effect. It's definitely doing something to me. It's changing my perception and, um, this is a microphone that doesn't fucking work. Never bought it. Um, it worked at Rabbit Seat Lettuce, but now it doesn't. <laughs> um, so, let me have a bite of pasta. Right now, I'm doing a parasitic cleanse, a colonic cleanse, which I haven't actually started. I'm doing the colonic cleanse like tomorrow because you have to start in the morning so that you can properly purge. Man, this video feels way less authentic. Like I said all of this nine minutes ago. <laughs> okay. But it's fine. The monotonic gold is definitely taking effect. I, I take iron regularly. And it took the iron and the monotonic gold together. Because uh, my iron comes in melts and I put them in a drink and I drink the drink and, and so on. It definitely has a similar effect that iron does. When I'm low on iron, I just feel cloudy and tired and I'm, I'm the kind of person that definitely seeks like at least eight hours of sleep so that I can get prepared and fucking work hard the next day. And sometimes even after that eight hours, see, like I cross, not cross reference, but I do little experiments in myself to make sure that I'm, what I'm perceiving is uh, correct or at least backed up within my own mind. Uh, so yeah, I, I sleep the full amount. I eat the required amount of energy for that day and I drink a cup of coffee, sometimes three shots in the morning, uh, to try and alleviate myself of this cloudiness that has come over me. And I know that it's not a vegan thing because when I wasn't a vegan, before I went at least vegetarian, I went, I went really healthy. I, I, I ate like lean meats and, and vegetables and nuts and stuff. Uh, but uh, my affiliation to animals uh, initially led me to the path of vegetarianism and then veganism. So, yeah, I, I knew that it wasn't veganism in and itself because in other ways, veganism really, like, it really enlightened me. It, it opened me up to, it almost, it widened my spiritual aperture in a way and my regular aperture. Like, I was less clouded by, I was just less clouded. I, I can't really describe why or how at this point in time. I probably could, but it might sound a bit far out. But a small explanation for it is, I'm a little bit indigested now, like I was eating my dinner sort of prior to the last video, and a little bit during. So now you have to hear me go, no, not really. <laughs> but like, I don't know, I ate very quickly. But yeah, so I know it was in veganism, because I feel, in a, in a lot of ways clearer um, after going vegan but yeah there was just something still hanging over my head like a, a cloudiness that I couldn't av alleviate and then start like going going from not working ever like pretty much being a starving artist at home and I made a, good, I made a fair bit of good content with the amount of money that I was raking in which was nothing aside from Centrelink thank you tax workers thank you so much um, I say this because I now pay tax <laughs> and I was anyway uh, so yeah, now that I'm working full time, um, when I first started, there was a period of time where I just wasn't, I didn't know what to freaking do with myself. I was eating shit tons, like shit tons. And like, but this point I was also, also trying to cut out carbs. So I was eating a lot and then trying to balance like the energy loss that I got from digestion to that graceful period after digestion when I would like be bursting with energy and also being, um, a vegan and trying not to eat as many carbs. I don't get that full burst of energy as often, so I have to actually eat more often than other people um, in increments, uh, I think. I think, because at the same time, I've also fasted and gone on a ketogenic diet, 
which essentially converts fat into energy instead of using carbohydrates and sugars for energy. I'm pretty sure that helps, that's how it works. But that actually starts to burn away at all your fat sources in your body. So you have to start eating a lot of fat, but it it is the energy that you get from fat lasts longer. I'm pretty certain there's like, whereas from carbohydrates, which just, I'm pretty sure carbohydrates are a sugar that will essentially lead you to crash really soon. And they'll also give you like a mental fogginess. So I was doing, I was trying to do the ketogenic thing while working. Anyway, what I was trying to say was there was a period of time not too long ago where I was feeling really lost because I just got into an into full time work and trying to balance all that stuff. And so I've been charging it with fucking heaps of cups of coffee, heaps of food that was probably really bad for me, whatever food I can get my hands on because I was just needing energy from somewhere. But I have a feeling that it didn't really have much to do with food or like caffeine and whatnot. It was almost like my body was missing another ingredient. And I don't know if you would consider maybe plant medicines, whether they be LSD or whatever, not at work, but like on the weekend um, to, you know, it's therapy because sometimes your mental state can contribute to your energy levels. But yeah, I just felt like there was this missing ingredient and I started, I, I got really curious about giants not long ago and you might think, wow, does this connect to the story at all, Neo? Well, <laughs> let me just bring that back. Uh, we're going to do the good old Ouroboros. I started thinking a lot about giants um, a while ago and I thought about hobbits and leprechauns or many people. And I was like, what if those people, what if like those stories actually came from a place that was relevant? What if they came from a place that was real? Just curious, like I don't really believe it. It's just a joke, you know? Everything I say is a joke. It's a joke. But yeah, um, as I think about giants, because I feel like uh, short people come from somewhere, like dwarves. And hobbits were discovered to be real. Like there was a documentary on National Geographic about, about that a while ago. Um, yeah, I started thinking about giants and I couldn't make a distinction or connect any dots to giants. Just all of a sudden I just was like, giants, yeah, they could have been real. And I recall back to this video, or this picture I saw on Facebook in like 2013 or something of a giant skeleton and I, people debunked it. Actually, no, they didn't debunk it. They tried to debunk it by saying there was no proof, but there was also no proof that it wasn't real. Um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I was thinking about giants. I was like, mm, I wonder why giants. I wonder what giants are. And I was thinking about giant monuments and whatnot. I was like, what if giants really did roam the earth? And you know, helped make those giant fucking like structures. That's a fun fantasy idea that I'm gonna play with a little bit because fantasy is so, it's so nice. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and then uh, all of a sudden, what came into my weird internet, my weird YouTube algorithm was the Anunnaki. And the, the Anunnaki are actually mentioned in a few scriptures, uh, Egyptian scriptures and whatnot. I'm gonna check my earphones to make sure I'm not getting robots, but I took the mic off so we're going in camera. Yep, we're good. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the Anunnaki have been reported uh, to be real, uh, a deity, for for instance. And maybe not real because, like, I, don't, I just don't know why we believe, like, historical documents, right? But we don't believe things like the Bible and we don't believe things like other, like, just other books. Like, you believe this historic document because someone's written it, but because someone writ wrote something a little while longer ago, longer ago and they couldn't fucking take a photo because they didn't own a camera, and you're instantly like... That not real. And like, language was a little underdeveloped back at the time, so they were either using very basic language like thou shall not, and apparently that doesn't make fucking sense to you. Oh, that was mean, I'm really sorry. But, um, and they were draw like drawing on the walls and stuff because they didn't have words, and suddenly that doesn't mean anything? And suddenly that's not, it's not bunkable? Anyway, so uh, apparently the Anunnaki uh, were reported uh, deities in Egypt. I think there were hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs of them and they documented them and their pyroxes, pyroxes, whatever they bloody call documents in Egypt. 
Um, yeah, so they're reported on them and in Sumeria and Mesopotamia. They might, I think there were documents from those places too and they were three of the oldest cities in the world, like uh, in, on this planet. They were the first developed civilizations. I think ancient Egypt is the first city ever recorded, ever. So yeah, it was the first developing city. Uh, so yeah, they reported them and there was um, mention of them being sky gods. Uh, and if you know anything about Egypt and about the pyramids, they're really, they're really bizarre. And I'm, I'm gonna tie this back to monotonic gold, monotonic gold. Um, yeah, so they, they're geometrically really on point. Their pyramids uh, align with stars. And I don't necessarily think that aliens did it. And I've never been one to say that humans could do something if they really put their mind to it and put their fucking magic pouches in their mouths depending on what plants they had at the time. But, yeah. So apparently they were around at the time and the Anunnaki were reported to eat uh, spoonfuls or kilograms worth of gold because it helped them, uh, they could elevated their consciousness. And gold is the best well-known, like the best uh, electronic conductor, like electromagnetic conductor or whatever, like, Gold is the best thing to use for electricity to travel from one place to another. And I'm pretty sure the, like, the electromagnetic um, communication within the body and within the brain and the neurons and the stomach and the brain and wherever else neurons have been discovered to be, um, or, like electricity is what like carries information throughout the body. This is just a hunch off the top of my head, really. Um, but, uh, so yeah, and our bodies require metals. And I find it very interesting that iron is used for mental clarity and I think zinc is as well. So, like, it makes sense to add another, like, incorporate another mineral to our bodies for that to be heightened, especially one that is reported to be the best in the world for that. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel the effects of the mono monatomic gold monatomic gold my camera's gonna die soon so i'll try and get as much as i can within this video and the parasite cleanse because the parasites um, latch onto your body they suck your body of nutrients and uh, especially you know within your gut where neurons are so information is carried and uh, that information affects your perception yeah so i find it very interesting that you know i find this whole situation very interesting to be honest I, I, I don't even know what to direct myself. Today I was like super anxious all of a sudden because all these these different things that I'm doing to my body right now are just all of a sudden took hold at once. And I I was anxious because I had all this energy and I didn't know what to do with it. Like I'd feel, I've been feeling like a cloud, a heavy storm cloud for, for a while, just pulling myself, like pulling myself uh, in to, through my life. And now I just like, this whole cloud's been lifted off my head and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And that's why I'm fucking talking to a camera right now. I try this and get healthy and go vegan too, because like shamans suggest going on a vegan diet before you do an ayahuasca cleanse so you have a fucking clearer, and you stop swearing. So you have a clearer experience. Blah, blah. Try it. Bye.